It's not made. It, he doesn't have the proper plug in for other countries. That's the thing. You know, the voltage he needs an is a adapter. bit different. But next time, maybe Samsung will bring their Zane adapter. You know, if he plays for Samsung, you'd think that would be <laughs> for Danny, but I would take this one. I assume GP will run for the team and they'll take it. Oh, they may actually go for the other Either way is honestly perfectly acceptable. Uh, Helio still a little bit in the jungle. I think they do their thing. Last week, pretty far and small. This means I'm gonna have to ban Blitzcrank in all my ranked games now because for the next three weeks. I know that's the thing. It's like it's just annoying to play against. And if I don't get to play a sport, I've been banned against my own team because they're all bad. But CJ Frost, not a bad team at all. Can they give themselves new life here in game three? 
Or will Ozone make it to the semifinals? The game's loading up. Let's get into the game. GBM there looks like yeah. GBM hit two first from fast pushing the wave and then just EQ'd immediately. So now the thing with Blitzcrank versus Leona, you can see Madlife not grabbing there because Leona definitely not as appealing of a target as a lot of other supports. Yeah, you, you do that, she can just stun you immediately, and then you're going to be end up taking the bad end of the trade, especially at level one. You yeah. definitely don't want to grab a level one. Well, you you have the Whoa. shield though, so ah. the Doran shield. So hopefully over yeah. time. Yeah. You get something off they're gonna need some sort of jungle pressure right there and Helios moving on to double golems you really just need to be a lot red. more careful than you normally would you certainly can grab Leona but it's it's a bit riskier it's a bit riskier so look at this GBM already going back from the lane pushing it up uh, looks like this is what item he gets on his first back another long sword so Leaving some CS, but hitting an earlier power spike. He wants to have that all in be a little more potent. Yeah. Meanwhile, Shy versus Luber and Necton. Pushing that lane up a little bit, which is not too surprising in this matchup. Now, this is the game plan right here. Is oh, that yeah. Helios needs to be looking at that mid and bot to make the plays. If he can't make the plays in those lanes, I don't know what to say, Noah. Yeah. Well, I do. I would just say GG. they're probably going to lose. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's what I would say. Okay, well, Helios goes back for some early boards. Uh, Pink's going down in the warded river on the top side of the map. So it looks like a pink ward will be placed there by Helios very shortly. Dandy setting up yeah, gonna on try. GBA, GBM. GBM <laughs> moving back, though. They've got an idea that something's going on here. And Helios uh, with that pink ward that river brush and we've seen that ward last a long time something like 26 minutes i think is the record he's gonna walk into oh, dandy he is gonna walk right into dandy and dandy backing away there yeah no need to play risky right now yeah you could have said dandy they may have been able to uh kind of get the initial burst off and therefore win that 2v2 fight but there's no reason for them to do that if you just take a look at 
what CJ Frost is trying to accomplish in this game. You can say, as long you as you play this one out, you can get some and farm out our lanes sure enough that. and then rotate into Siege, yeah. then we're going to be in a really good position to win late. Mundo will be able to overtake Renekton. Uh, by the later stages of the mid game, and that's what you yeah. gotta aim for right now. I mean, Samsung, all they need to do is just play safe, play safe in lane, and reap the benefits later. So Helios doing a little bit of. Hey, how about that? Taking down his opponent's wall. But leaving the blue one personally. All right, well, that life on a bit of a run right <gasps> now. Uh, the river already from Osage, so they're well aware that he may be making a play in this mid lane. Certainly looks like he's trying to. Yeah, well, Dade. Oh, here we go. Dade, Dade knows. coming in a flash. Oh, and the flash from Dade. So flash for flash. He was very well prepared for that. Yep. So good he knew communication from Ozo. Yeah. But at the very least, they trade flash for flash, and they've zoned out yeah. space. Oh, space left on his own in that bot lane. He's going to try to get away, but it's not enough. And first blood goes to him. And that is like the worst feeling ever as a support player where you leave your lane to make a play like that and then your carry gets himself killed. You you are seldom more angry as a support than that when that Space happens. Space was like, playing on, really far back though. That was really just all Mata on a very aggressive play and a nice follow-up from Imp right there. So, I mean, he was playing safely. That was not reckless. It was just a good skill oh, shot. Donna gets low. A bit reckless. So GBM coming in, trying to make a play and he'll pay it. It'll get, he'll get it. Oh, and Dandy. GBF nearly takes him down, but Dandy gets a bit of revenge. He was getting chased by that spider yeah, There was a teleport. Looper is there. They're on the hunt for Evelyn, Dandy. Oh, that cocoon barely getting dodged by Helios. He's going to back off. They know <laughs> ish where he is. Oh, oh Helios, yep. Yeah. No execution for Helios. He's going to die the old fashioned way. Do an auto attack for best real. <laughs> That's the old fashioned way to die. Huh? I guess so, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's cool, you know. <laughs> Go to that one. Oh boy. Well, yeah, that's like at a start. Be so you nice have next to time. Execute yourselves if they're guilty. Huh? Wait, that's next. Time. I don't know. If is uh, the, the judge. <laughs> I'm with the yeah, Raiders, my team. For that I keep the bandits in line so Roland can focus on taking down Jack. With the void spice. Anyway, long story, long story, yeah. bleeding. Could you help me up? Real indeed. So, Dade with his own blue buff as well. Having to farm with that spear. Unfortunately, he needs to be very, very careful about this. Oh, I need to pick me up. Give me some Iridium, will ya? I should have well, some in one of my stone so boxes. Well, about the all-in right there. Uh, Dade is behind the farm, but you have to question yourself, is it worth the risk to get that farm when this Evelyn is such a threat and the cause Yeah, the that's the first, stuff. Uh, Give it here. GBM pushed the wave, got the advantage in the lane, eq really early up, because you can see it on the screen. And Appreciate it. Madlife's been roving into his lane twice now. Oh, there's a power fist and Dade trying to get away, but a rocket grab from Madlife, and Madlife's gonna claim that kill for his team. Dandy comes in, but he's in a little bit of trouble now. Thanks. Gonna make it out. Shine there, they're going for the play. They're going for the push. Yep, that's right, Dandy. Dandy better back off, actually. That rocket grab is coming out cool down. Auto coming up. Oh, two shot Raj. Very dangerous. Get off! <laughs> Now That's the, the real danger right begins. there. So it's hard to I'll criticize Dante in this situation blast because blast he's just trying to play safe. And with the amount of roaming that's going on at the end of the jungle, this is what CJ Frost needs to do. They're still behind in gold, though. And a lot of that Hell is yeah. every time Mad Life leaves, space is low. They're zoned off the way. And Dante with a well needed kill. Oh, 
There's a flash yeah. done. Solar Flare keeping the space low, but he's going to cleanse out of it. Looper can't really help out Mata too much. A very aggressive play, and again, there's that Kongi. They're going to be able to push this bot lane, but still. Uh, they don't have to get a kill for it, however, they will yeah. get some turret damage, forcing well, the life and Helios. You know, it's a dangerous thing. And for the blood chain, Roland is getting Shy takes down the turret. Yeah. And him getting chased down by Shy actually. I gotta head back has to, to use his barrier. Man, they need to be careful. Shy actually. First, I'm gonna to teleport There's the more. There's the ultimate from Shy. And him getting chased all he wants. There's the arcade ship to Shy. Getting taken Hold out. Still. Stuck around a little bit too long. Yeah, he certainly did. Imp and Shy. And a power spike. And if we look at it too, Shy, look at his items. I just There's the you. brutalizer he and denied. the spectral cowl. He was not Ooh, ready for a late rotation Reminds right there. Reminds me though, which is Blood why we saw Steph really Rosa make that call. They said, hey look, we're having fun. We're doing good, we're doing good, 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 good out there. Right yeah. Keep it up. Out. Yes. But you know what we can do is swap our agent <laughs> carry. You're not itemized to deal with Ezreal, especially right after this big power spike with Trinity Force. And they really throw that advantage up. So a smart decision by Samson Ozo to shy over the bidding right you know, so this is a little bit of balance out of both of you. The next level of intelligence that we should have missed. Any donated organs into the receptacle. Cool You're my million customers. The Pavianus Tour. That's one of the difficult things. You're my. You are a fine pair of merchandise anywhere else. I beg you. Tell your friend, Marcus Munition. That is quite difficult. When you think murder, think Marcus Munition. He, he hasn't had the jungle pressure. Helios just hasn't been in there. They couldn't put you all in in the early laning phase. So the only thing Mad Lion has been able to do is to roll in and help get a kill there. But, I mean, Helios has just been kind of a train wreck this game. Yeah, I mean, 
the Evelyn hasn't worked out at all. It was a risky pick as well for Mad Life on Blitzcrank, and sadly Frost is starting to pay for it as they go down to the K goal, and then the 3K goal, 17 kills, and there's a silence on him. He's gonna be able to get away, take some damage, Big solar flare in the middle of everything. Mata pays for it with his life, but Jai trying to get to the back line, so he's going to run into Dada and a lot of damage. Dandy gets taken out, and now CJ Frost the turning things around. If he's going to get taken down by Space. Oh, the arcade shift, and no ace in the hole, so Space can't finish off. Jai barely can't reach him. I think Blue canceled his own teleport, actually, in that fight. I think that's possible, yeah. I think they may have thought it was going their way, and so he wanted to cancel, but that was really weird why Looper's come in there, because it was a 5v4 in favor of Frost, and they take a couple of kills and a big turret in the middle. And, uh, I really want to know well. what happened to Looper. Oh, GPM coming in, Mad Life looking to make a play. Coming in for the power fist on Donate. Imp helps Donate get that kill, but it looks like it's going to be a return kill for Shy. They're gonna take him out as well. Double kill now for Dane. And Mata waiting for an opportunity just out of range of that Zenith Blade. But here comes Looper, the flash from space, throwing down that trap. And Looper's gonna flash over it. And that's gonna be a dead 80 carry as Mata gets the well deserved support kill. And that's gonna be that tier 2 mid turret. Maybe. Yeah, they're gonna stick around and get it. All right. Mata can take that for a little while. Looper can pick it up as well. Mata can actually just take the whole thing, man. He's pretty tanky already. Uh, yeah, I really want to take a look at that team fight again. It was uh, really weird from Oza. It was kind of strange. I mean, Mata just went really deep after he got a good three-man solar flip. And things just went downhill from that. That said, though, you see the power of the long-term game. Oza never lose some big tier two towers. So, ultimately, they are the big winners after they re-collected themselves. And Looper makes that rotation over. And the strength is not so fast. gets dodged as well, but there's a true shot barrage, and Imp picks that one up. Nice snipe there, Helios on the run. Dade trying to poke him his beer. Uh-oh, Evelyn caught once again. Helios has not had a good game. And there's nothing that Frost is going to be able to do about this either. I mean, just the siege potential. They've kind of missed their power spike right now. Uh, they're gonna, have, again, now they're really reliant on Mad Life making some Oh, Mata plays. coming in onto Blitzcrank a little bit there. Mad Life in trouble, they missed the cocoon. So it looks like they will be able to get away. GBF has the opportunity to leap over the wall. Do, so it'll be okay. But as it is, Frost, you know, their window is closed. That's about it. Gonna be tough. Here's a big fight. Side trying to come to the back lines. They do run and grab him. How in the world did Mad Life get him out of there? That is a grab that only Mad Life can make, guys. <laughs> Nobody um, else. That was really crazy. Yeah. Absolutely insane if, that if was able to survive that. Yeah, uh, that was really, really crazy. But uh, it, it does stop the push, which it is the does. important thing right there, is that Samson Rosa can't take any further objectives <laughs> with that one. You know, the only thing more impressive about uh, Blitzcrank's uh, or Mad Life's grabs here and there this game has been Imp's ability to get away from it all. Yeah, I, he's had some really well timed. Uh, uh, put up the numbers. Well, picking the screen as he was. Sneaky Baron, though. Oh, so doesn't know. They have no idea. Oh, boy, Mata knows now. A little bit of low health here. Mata comes in, tries to mix it up. There's a solar flare. Mata! And it's going to take down Helios, Baron low as well, through Cup Raj comes through. They're going to have to back off, and will this be a Baron now for Sam and Ozone? Mad Life fixes this rocket pair. Dandy on the other side of the wall. They really want to get this Baron to Ozone, and they just may, in fact. Oh, they're going to back off. They're going to try it, though. Whoa! Nice play by GBM. Gets the Baron for CJ Raj.
actually tried really hard to set that one up. I'm gonna have to take that back. It was just, it was just a, you know, sometimes that happens. <laughs> yep. So we get the Kazakhs in there, but they Never did. Know. They waited as long as possible to get everybody in there to try and spike it. it we've seen uh, some interesting things still, Baron. We've seen explosive cast. We've seen the culling take Baron this week. I mean, we have not seen Sunfire Cape take Baron, however. Not, no, uh, never <laughs> seen that. That, that just doesn't happen. I don't know. If anybody thinks they saw something like that, they are just crazy. <laughs> Let's just get this out of the way. Yes, most of my merchandise was ripped from the hands of dead adventurers. Almost dead? I can fix that. Don't die. I need your business. Well, Mark. Samsung has a way to wake this Baron buff out at this point. They get some damage down and they're looking for a big Waiting. Things in the brush right there. They see Shy clearing out the back door. My humble Shy. silly enough to go that deep into the lane. <laughs> Not at this game anymore. More pink board set up again, just trying to make those picks if they can. Waiting Helios and Madlife coming in. Oh, Madlife. Oh, Mad Life. oh the cocoon. And Dandy hesitated a little bit more than I thought they would, just waiting for that play call. So the communication just not quite as crisp as it could be there. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Oh, there we go. They're checking on Shy and GBF right there. They will see them over by play. the red buff. If you yep, drop anywhere else, else you can. Can. So, so, we'll see. He's at the point where the dragon isn't as important, but it's still a pretty close game, so. Yeah, I'm aware of it. Especially when you have that much control over the top of the outside jungle, though, you just. So all right, Killer, I'm back in Sanctuary. Be careful. The bloodshots have camped out all around the dam. You'll want to get a vehicle to soak up some bullets for you. you snowball their advantage. Why loot the dead when nope. you can buy from me? There was nobody in that brush. Going for the uh, river brush lottery there, but didn't quite have the winning numbers. It's rare, but sometimes yeah. you just gotta try, though. Uh, especially, he's going for uh, Crucible. We've seen Madlife just grabbing a lot of, uh, a lot of blind rocket grabs in the past. Dragon. And now huh. Nobody seems to be around. Just drive up and haunt your horn. Maybe this won't be so hard after all. Yeah, yeah, I'm opening the gate. Oh, wow, the enemy got Dottie, 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 Dott
jammed up into that team. Thanks, uh, Ellie. My brother Scooter told me you was coming. Don't get me pissed up here, especially not once that we eat. Trying to rescue your pal Roland from the dam, huh? I bet you can fool those blood shots that you drove up in one of their custom trucks. I got one right over yonder that I crushed oh, the driver's doing that. Oh, the grab. He's going to get Looper. That's not the same target. Meanwhile, he was just blown up. Shine the back line. Has to back off immediately. Hit with another kill. There's the solar flare to DBS. Can they make a follow up? They'll try. Double kill for him already as he takes that down. Dandy was one of his own. Taking out space in GBM and Mad Life. The last members of Cross remaining. They're going to watch another Hitler go down. And they're going to also watch their hope of the semi finals. The champions win their two eyes. That's it. You'll have to blow up the bandit cars and grab the flash from the wreckage. And they'll blame McMahon if they start calling you names. Just makes killing them that much more fun. Leo's coming in, but there goes Nexus for a number two. Not even making that. There it is, the Nexus going down. And Sam's on Ozone fighting a little bit here. And they're going to try to pad the KDA a little bit more before they finish off the Nexus. They're going to need to turn a double kill there at the end for Looper. But there goes the Nexus. GG! And Sam's on Ozone is going to the Champions Winter Semifinal.
And Imp had a fantastic game number three. Mason Global had a <laughs> OGN Legion showing up in person at Champions Winter. And oh, there's good. Ozone with their triumphant walk across the stage. <clears throat> Some hats into the audience. That's right. Which you can get shipped to you globally. You can. The URL appears on the screen in the background. Some Champions yeah. hats and why would you be? Who would we? You know, we look great when we wore our Champions hats the other day. Okay, well, we're going to go into our winner team interview. And of course, to help us with the translation. A man who, when he takes his you breakfast, always for selects it. Honey Nut Cheery Chows. What? It's Chodro! Thank you. Not Chodro's? Honey Nut Chodro's. <laughs> Here for another winner interview. Our last one for the quarterfinals. Oh. Sad times. Sad times indeed. But in a way, happy times, because now we only have semifinals to look forward to. Right? <laughs> and the grand final. Which should be spectacular. I swear I am. <laughs> Having trouble hearing my own voice because I have a cold. Works in very weird ways when you have double personalities like me. And let's talk to Samsung Ozone, who, I mean, I think everyone can agree, they look good. They look good, sure, like people say.
You're in? Great. Roland should be around here somewhere. I'm sure you can handle yourself, but if anything happens to Roland, make sure nothing happens to Roland.
Hyperion. I'm not asking much for rolling. A million bucks. Hello? This thing on? You handling the bloodshots all right? They've been trying to take Roland out ever since he took the asses out of Sanctuary. I should have seen it coming. Arsenal. 
You could always arm your men with some high-quality munitions from my store. You could buy from me. Those Crimson Raiders will be dead in no time.
Vault Hunter. Good to finally meet you in person. Hell of a job fighting through those bloodshots. This'll just take a second. Let's see about getting out of here. Eliminating. Vault Hunter! You gotta stop this thing! Let go of me, and damn it! That's how handsome Jack pays ransoms! All time no sequel. Soldier! This way! Let go of me, damn it!
Let's take it!